So about the language, Spanish is a very, it can be very easy to learn, but it can also be very hard to understand. That didn't come out right. So in Spanish, they have a lot of different things to the language. I guess my one, not my one language tip, but a language tip that I would like to give is to say, ask questions. If you have a question about a language, ask it. Or if you have a question about how something is pronounced or how you're supposed to say something, ask your companion or ask those around you. My trainer probably got so sick of me because I would ask her so many questions. I'd just be like, well, well, why do you say that? And why do you pronounce it that way? And what does that mean? And that, that was our conversation in the streets always. Um, I had vocabulary, so I had these pieces of paper. In the MTC, they give you language books. And in back of one of the language books, they have um, lists of vocabulary words. So when I got into my mission, I cut those pages out and I took them with me onto the streets. And because I didn't really know how to talk to people, I, I would study those as we walked to and from appointments. Uh, that really helped. I would ask a million questions and just figure out everything that I could about the language. One thing that I do suggest is praying to understand language concepts because Spanish can be very easy, but it can also be very hard to learn because there are a lot of tenses, there are a lot of different ways of saying things, and just don't be afraid to pray about it because the Lord is willing to help you and he will help you to know how to understand the subjunctive tense or the preterite tense or you know things like that it just he's always there to help you and i found that when i prayed this is amazing when i i noticed that when i prayed about a certain concept of the language i would immediately start to understand it and that was really cool um, because there were a lot of things that confused me and really the only way that you can learn it is just learning what it sounds like and when it sounds right it's right and when it sounds wrong it's wrong and that's kind of weird but that's why what my companion told me and that's it was true if something sounded wrong when you said it it was usually wrong when something kind of had like a flow and it sounded right it was usually right. Um, just a pronunciation tip. So V's and B's in Spanish are pronounced the same. And the D in Spanish is pronounced kind of like a TH. And so for example, the word, um, the word for truth in Spanish is verdadero. So if you're saying it with an English or an American accent, you say verdadero. But in Spanish, you pronounce the V like a B and the D like a TH. So you say verdadero. That's something that I thankfully learned very early on in my mission and that helped me a lot. Um, also, I did not know how to trill my tongue before the mission that. I didn't know how to do it. Um, but there are, <laughs> I would just suggest learning how to do it. It is possible. I, I walked through the streets just going, <laughs> just trying to get it. And eventually it came and now I could do it for hours on end. Um, but for example, the word for expensive in Spanish is caro. The word for car in Spanish is carro. So it's, it would be kind of hard if you said 
caro and you meant carro. Um, there's also pero, which means but, and perro, which means dog. Um, so you kind of need that distinction. You can learn how to trill your tongue. I know it's hard. You can do it. I struggled with it my whole life, but I managed to get it. Um, it will really help you to help people understand what you're saying. Common phrases. They had this one that I know was unique to northern Mexico, and it was que onda, which really, if you translate it literally, it means what wave, so like a wave of the ocean. But in northern Mexico, it means what's up. So you can greet someone and say, que onda, and they'll say, no, nada, we're like nothing. Or they'll say, oh, I'm going somewhere. Um, so that was a bit interesting. I, I use that occasionally. Um, another one would be que padre, which if you translate it literally, it means what father. But in Spanish, it means cool. Or like, oh, that's so cool. That's so exciting. Um, uh, Another one, I never really used this, but um, missionaries who knew, who were natives, uh, they usually use this, but it's no manches, and it means like, no way, um, manches, it means stain, so I don't really know why they say no stain, but... I mean, why do we say holy cow? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, LDS vocabulary. Uh, sometimes they can sound very similar. For example, the restoration, la restauración. Um, or temple, templo. But then there are others that don't sound similar at all. For example, prayer is la oración, or um, repentance, arrepentimiento, atonement, la expiación. Um, the priesthood. El sacerdocio. Those are kind of fun words to learn. Um, I really love, I mean, when you're on your mission, you basically only speak um, LDS vocabulary words. <laughs> but it's just very beautiful. It's a very beautiful language. And when you learn to speak it, it just almost feels better, feels better than English speaking it.